Do not mourn. Do not doubt. Your actions in Eden were tragic, but necessary. Eden was intended for humanity, not the Nephilim. It was a great victory for the balance. For you, horseman. Victory? Where are death and fury? It matters not. Your purpose lies elsewhere. Lucifer, lord of all hells, yet plots humanity's downfall. Weak though they may seem, these fledgling creatures are integral to the balance. We believe the demon Samael, lord of Blackstone Keep, conspires with Lucifer. Seek out Samael. Unravel this plot. Serve the balance. Show them the price of defying the Council. Samael's fortress is under attack? The Council could have mentioned that. His enemies are many. But few could muster the forces to attack him directly. Well, guess it's not going to be an in-and-out conversation, then. Not likely. Well, um, one thing's for sure. We aren't using the front door. Let's get closer and see what we find. Do you think it could be Moloch? He doesn't have the muscle, but this smells like him. Question is, why? Hell is a pit of vipers. Do demon lords need a reason to wage war with one another? Yes or not, but someone got bold. They will provide entertainment on our way to Samael. You better have something interesting to tell us, or the Council is going to be pissed. If we don't keep moving, we'll be questioning a corpse. This assault is fierce. Hurrying for his sake? How annoying. A door that pretentious can only lead to our boy Samael. Sneaking in was a good idea. We didn't sneak. We made a strategic approach. And still killed plenty along the way. Hmm. Fair. Perhaps I was foolish in not accepting his offer. My lord, the council! Guess you didn't hear us knocking. Ah, horseman. What brings the loyal servants of the council to my door? The Council believes you scheme with Lucifer against humanity. Against the balance. Do you deny it? Horseman. Such base villainy is beneath me. I admit, I am intrigued by your accusation. Unfortunately, I find myself a bit under siege at the moment. By Moloch? How'd you manage to let a bottom feeder like that get the upper hand? No offense. An excellent question. I could venture, I guess. I told you this day would come, Samael. I, Moloch, have come to claim your head and your kingdom. Go! Find my associate within the void. We will continue our discussion after I drive my sword through Moloch's skull. Perhaps then, we will have an answer to your question. Uh, a serpent hall. I should have known. You're familiar with these? Unfortunately, yeah. They belong to a guy I've heard of. Must be the associate Samaya was talking about. Can he be trusted? Absolutely not. In no way possible. But I don't see another way out of here. So what are we waiting for? Let's hop in. <sighs> Is it our only option? We could just wait right here. Forever. After you. Hey, Vogram, right? The soul leader? Dig the nickname. Strife. Like me, your reputation precedes you. 
Have you brought me any delicious morsels on which to feast? Maybe those of your brethren? Mind your tongue, wretch, before I cut it out. Our work doesn't concern you. Oh, but it must. Why else would you be here? You were cast here by Samael. Maybe it was to bring him your head. Careful, horseman. Show the right temperament and I can be of service to you. The Council does not negotiate with demons. Defy them and there will be a price. <laughs> the Council has no power here. This realm is mine, and therefore subject to my rules. Patience isn't my brother's thing. Or mine, now that I think about it. So get to the point. The Lords of Hell are forever in conflict. They seek power, control. Lucifer and Samael most of all. You are here because Lucifer attempts something unexpected. He now extends a hand to his enemies, offering something very desirable in exchange for their cooperation. And Moloch is one of them. <laughs> Nothing in this world is without cost. If you wish to know more, we must enter into an agreement. A precious artifact has been stolen from me. I sought Samael's assistance in the matter, but perhaps you could recover it. That's all the info you're giving us. Go get an artifact. What the hell makes it so important? It's... complicated. At this point, I'd rather kill you than help you. Council be damned. That would profit neither of us. It'll be worth your while. I give you my word. Oh, your word. Why didn't you say so? We'll do it! You can't be serious. Look at where we are. If you have a better idea, I'm all ears. Ha! <laughs> I will provide a serpent hole for travel. And do be careful. The keeper of my artifact will be less than pleased to see you. No one is ever pleased to see us. That's kind of the idea. By the way, I think this will be of interest to you. I acquire them from time to time. They're yours. For the right price, of course. Dreams of suffering, cages. Yep, we're definitely in a dungeon. Let us find Vulgrim's troubling demon and pry the artifact from its dead hands. Oh, okay, now you're getting me excited. You know, if Lucifer is as dangerous as a council says he is, why'd they send just the two of us? Death and fury attend to other matters. It is not our place to question the will of the Council. It's not my place to question your wardrobe, but I still think your armor could use some more creepy faces on it. Must everything be a joke to you? The Council. You really need to lighten up. The Council this and the Council that. You want to hear an actual joke? No. Knock, knock. <sighs> <clears throat> You're supposed to say, who's there? Why would I give away my location? I would simply smash through the door and face my assailant. Ugh, you're hopeless. Wonder what this thing's really worth to that soul-sucking ghoul. The artifact in exchange for information. We will honor our agreement. Man, he should be leading us by the hand right to Lucifer's doorstep. Let us return to Vulgrim then. For his sake, I hope we find his generosity greatly improved. You've done it! Yes, yes, give it to your horseman. You're pretty excited over a shiny rock, Volgrim. But to each his own. A shiny rock, is it? The closer. Ooh, finally some room to stretch my legs. Oh, what are you all looking at? Oh! Volgrim, you're alive. Hmm. Looks like our arrangement still stands. The stone was... a prison? Is this how you treat all your business associates? Noted. None of this matters. We must find Lucifer. What do you know, Volgrim? Lucifer? What do you want with that piece of work? 
All things are connected, Horseman. This was captured while seeking an item of great importance to Lucifer. She is duty-bound to me. Mm, that's one way to put it. What is this item Lucifer seeks? It's called the Ember Core. Contains the power of a thousand suns. The usual stuff to get a demon all hot and bothered. So I'm guessing it would throw a wrench in Lucifer's plans if we got to it first. <laughs> I'd say that's a good bet. Anything that gets us closer to the Deceiver is worth pursuing. The Ember Core is housed in a demonic forge called the Inferno Vault. But recovering it shouldn't be a problem for two mighty horsemen. Save us your flattery, demon. Just open the way. This is proving to be a most auspicious relationship. The Inferno Vault. It can only exist to forge weapons that stand against the forces of heaven and to tear down the work of the Makers. So how about we do some tearing down of our own? Our priority is recovering the Ember Core. Sure, but why not have some fun along the way? Look around you, brother. The fiery ambition of demons looking to upset the balance. This is why we fight. But what about Volgrim? Isn't helping him gonna upset the scales? I'm pretty sure he doesn't want the Ember Core for decoration. We need his information. Whatever Lucifer is planning, it goes far beyond Vulgrim and his schemes. The Council wouldn't be too happy if they knew we were trading dangerous artifacts for information. We do what we must for the mission. If Vulgrim has ambitions of his own, then he too will be dealt with. War, relax. I'm messing with you. Let's wrap this up before my skin melts off. the Ember Core Dees spoke of. I guess one of us should grab it. <sighs> Would you like me to do it? Hey, I'll watch you back. Ah! I knew it! Level collapse! Wave of enemies! We've already killed everything. Didn't I tell you this was gonna be fun? Good to see you, Horseman. I wasn't sure you'd return. Try not to sound so disappointed. Hey, did you move some stuff around? The void is in constant motion. It is fluid. Everything changes. There are secrets to be uncovered here. Uh, cool? We've recovered the Ember Core, but we are no closer to finding Lucifer. Which brings you closer to the edge of my blade. As I've said, all things are connected. The Ember Core will serve as a power source and a beacon. I've only heard rumblings, but to track Lucifer's steps, to find the demons he's conspired with, we'll need a scrying eye, working in conjunction with the Core. And let me guess, you just happened to misplace yours. I know of an ancient temple said to house such an artifact. My serpent holes can take you. And this scrying eye will lead us to Lucifer. I can think of no other way. Then we will recover it. But I warn you, demon. Do not waste our time. I would never dream of it. Are we sure this is hell? I could live here. This is a realm of endless suffering. Embrace the desolation. It suits our work. Embrace the desolation. <laughs> Do you ever listen to yourself? Vulgrim mentioned four beacons that must be lit to unlock the temple entrance. Then let's get to it. One thing I'll say about hell, it sure is... big. All the more reason we must act quickly. Lucifer will turn others to his cause while we search for him. Council sure does have it out for old Lucy. I don't envy the guy. He betrays the balance. We don't even know what he did. Our cause is just. Why must you always question? You should try asking some questions once in a while. Quit playing the good little soldier. But I guess it's easier doing what we do if we don't need a reason. Brother, for your sake, let us carry on in silence. 
Logram could have warned us that this place is falling apart. It's older than he is. We must tread lightly. You're telling me to tread lightly? Hey, my treasure sense is tingling. What manner of artifact is this? It's vibrating. Feel that? There's some sort of energy trapped inside it. Perhaps it has something to do with these strange glyphs. Look at you. Brains and brawn. This must be the eye Vulgrim seeks. What do you think that floating corpse is gonna do with it? Presumably help us find Lucifer. Right. Unless this thing somehow grants Vulgrim unlimited power and he uses it to enslave the universe. Your imagination is exhausting. Hey, it could happen. Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. Capable of peering through dimensions to find what does not wish to be found. Uh, you need some alone time with that orb, Vulgrim? Combined with the Ember Core, we will be able to track Lucifer. Let me begin the incantation. Ah, you've made it. Forgive my tardiness. I had some cleaning up to do. Samael, whatever scheme you've been preparing, it ends now. Tell us what you know, or suffer my blade. I am in no condition to fight you, horseman. And as I have already told you, I've nothing to do with Lucifer's plan. I trust my associate, Volgrim, has been accommodating in my absence. If by accommodating you mean sending us to every corner in hell, risking our lives for some shiny rocks, then yeah. Hush! The Eye has found traces of Lucifer's dark essence. It appears he has paid a visit to the demon Mammon. Mammon? Lucifer conspires with Hell's masters? Ugh, that bloated maggot. Why don't you horsemen go knock on his door? Perhaps cave his head in for me? We're not your errand boy, Samael. We serve only the Council. I will help you find the other masters. If they have joined Lucifer's plot, then binding them would serve us both. Begin with Mamon. We keep this temporary alliance until we unravel Lucifer's plot. Not a moment longer. <laughs> of course. Good hunting, horseman. I'll be in touch. Mamon's vault is a short ride from here. Can't blame the guy for stashing his horde in the middle of nowhere. The demon is obsessed with material riches. <laughs> Wealth is nothing more than a prison. Come on. Don't you ever want to take a little slice for yourself? We are trusted to uphold the balance. That honor is payment enough. If you ask me, upholding the balance usually leaves us high and dry. Ours is a righteous cause. Is that why we're working with Samael behind the council's back? Our situation is complicated. The sooner we settle these affairs, the better. War. Good soldier gone rogue. Relax and you might enjoy it. What do you make of that pedestal? Gotta do something important. Likely it's a trap. Ugh, you've always gotta be a downer. Look on the bright side for once, brother. We got lucky. Yep, that definitely was a trap. In the world is a dark and terrible place. Boy, this can't be here. Hmm? What troubles you? Nothing. Just some old junk. You look as though you've seen a ghost. But drop it, okay? I should find something to kill. All right, I got the artifact. You just keep pressure on the pedestal and I'll slide it off. Wait, I'm not... like this? Yeah, just keep your giant paw right there. Just like that. Almost. <laughs> Show yourself, Maman. You cannot hide from the Council's justice. Damn it, Warp! You let go of the... Uh, 
Uh, I guess we're taking the long way back. You've been quiet. You're never quiet. Maybe I just got nothing to say. You found something among the Horde. There are things. Things from before. When the world made more sense. You must erase what came before. Remember your duty. Do you even feel anything anymore? Strife, you are distracted. Steal yourself and let's keep moving. You're right. No more distractions. Come on! Get out here, you greedy little bastard! These artifacts, they're from Eden. How could Maman have these? Lucifer. Has to be. But Eden was sealed off after we left. Yeah, it was. <sighs> this appears to be some kind of map rune. Perhaps it could tell us where Maman has gone. I bet Volcom could make sense of it. I hate how useful he is. Mamon eludes us. Huh. Cunning devil. In his hoard, we found relics stolen from Eden. Somehow, Lucifer must have found a way to enter it. Hmm. This is troubling. Eden was sealed after the Nephilim invasion. Powerful artifacts linger amid the ashes, but they've been safely out of reach. Perhaps until now. I will have to do further research. If Lucifer has found a way into Eden, the scrying eye will reveal his methods. We found this map. These scribbles make any sense to you? Interesting. It seems Mamon possesses another vault, larger and even more well hidden. These scribbles have given us its location. We will force the truth from Mamon's lips. And show him the cost of dealing with Lucifer. Horsemen, while you fancy yourselves impressive, you both have more to give. Much more. Oh, motivational speech. Hold on, let me grab a drink. The Council granted you power, but with limits. I can remove those limits to a degree, but you must sense it within yourselves as well. You are bound to your past, and to your guilt. This gives the Council a vessel to... restrain you, to suppress that which lies within. The chaos, the inner riot. I was joking about the speech, by the way. Silence! What did you do? You feel pain. However, I did not inflict it. Explain yourself! I merely opened the door to your inner conflict, your hate, anger, power. You feel it, and can thus use it properly. How? You will see soon enough. As your rage builds, your potential can now be reached. Its potential you will need to defeat Mamon and other masters that await. Damn! Why do I feel a sudden urge to kill everything I see? <laughs> I'm sure the Council will be very pleased. No, 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 no! Lucifer promised I'd be safe! He said I'd be protected! He said, he said, he promised! Take it! Take it all! We're the Council's no, enforcers. No, you really think you can buy us with this worthless... <laughs> Oh, okay. You almost had me. Brother, wait! We could have questioned him. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, look. He's alive. Happy? What's wrong, Mamont? No more coin tricks? What's Lucifer planning? Start talking, you little shit. We might spare your miserable life. Lucifer shown me treasures beyond any that exist in this world. Your threats mean nothing! Guess you didn't feel like talking. Too bad. 
You wouldn't have spared him either way. Yeah, figured it was worth a try. What about all this stuff? <sighs> Leave it. Samael knows about this place now. There's probably enough here to rebuild his army ten times over. You good with that? <sighs> okay, fine. Let's go. But I'm taking the souvenir. So, Mammon is no more. <laughs> You've done well, horseman. We're not your executioners. Maman's death was inevitable. Yeah, my finger slipped. The demon fought us with weapons stolen from Eden. Our suspicions are confirmed. Lucifer has been there. Maman and I were rivals. I cannot deny that news of his tragic fate has brought me great pleasure. Let me repay you. Bulgrim has continued to track Lucifer's power. It seems he has visited another of the Masters. Give us a name. Are you still comfortable with our arrangement? You seem to suggest it was not built to last. We've already got our hands dirty. No use washing them now. <laughs> Words to live by. Lucifer's newest ally is Belial the Corruptor. Access to his realm is limited. But speak with Vulgrim. He will know of a way. Wonder what it'll cost us this time. At last you've come. I've mapped out the pathways to Belial's realm. However, there is something more I require. There's a shocker. Uh, what do you need? Tell me, Horseman. Do you know of the arena? You mean the hellhole where you fight to the edge of death? Suffer unimaginable pain, and maybe, just maybe, escape with your life and a prize? Uh, yes? Never been. But it sounds like my kind of place. It seems the Arena Masters have secured a rare talisman that will allow me to quicker find the pathways I need. Unaware of its true power, the fools offer it as a prize. Bring me the talisman, and I will secure for you travel to Belial's realm. Hey, <laughs> this might actually be fun. For once, we are in agreement. But, let us be quick. Mm, not bad, horseman. Heard you guys cleaned up in the arena. What can I say? It's my kind of thing. <clears throat> oh, our kind of thing. <laughs> I like you two. Ah. The talisman. Very nice indeed. Just what does it do, exactly? It does nothing. But it was once Belial's, and still bears his stench, so to speak. It will help me follow his ponderous steps through the void. Good. The sooner he's dead, the sooner we're on to the next mark. <laughs> I cannot lead you to his doorstep, horseman. Only his domain. Belial has no domain. How is this possible? He does now. Consider it one of Lucifer's gifts. One meant to satisfy his insatiable hunger. Samael knows more of it than I. Speak with him while I secure the pathway. So, Belial's realm awaits. Yeah, explain that one to me. When did Belial ascend from worthless slob to owning a piece of hell? This was Lucifer's offer. In exchange for Belial's service, he was given three Dreadwalker Guardians, and a place in hell to produce a weapon for Lucifer. One we don't fully understand yet. Dreadwalkers? Belial still can't take care of himself? <laughs> Regardless, surrounded by them, Belial will be unstoppable. You must discover a way to eliminate them, so that he cannot summon them when the time comes. Discover a way? Why not simply eliminate them? They are a three-headed serpent, bound by an unseen force. The largest of the three is challenging to engage. I suggest you figure out what gives him his strength before facing him. And what of the weapon Belial creates? 
Through the scrying eye, Bulgrim will learn more while you destroy the Dreadwalkers. When you return, if you return, we will take care of it. If? Today the Dreadwalkers die. Nothing can stand in our way. I don't care how we do it. Let's just do it. All these mindless piles of bones. Taking orders from a gutless heap of demon filth. What of it? We can't end up like them. I know we have a sworn duty, but some part of our fate still belongs in our own hands. If you keep whinging, I might turn you into a pile of bones myself. Hey, war, was that a joke? Yeah, no, it was a threat. You chose this fate, Strife. Why question it? I enjoy being a super-powered death machine as much as the next guy, but... That's not why you became a horseman, is it? It's definitely a nice perk. You'd still be a killer without the Council. So what is it you need from them? Hmm. Damn, that was deep, warm. Kinda impressed. And a little disturbed. Can we talk about feelings some other time? Forged in the fires of hell. The Dreadwalkers Three, the master preserved, as long as they live and breathe. Near limitless power while the servants stand. A force of true terror, unkillable by demon or man. Cheerful. I'm going to enjoy this. The Dreadwalkers have fallen. Belial will be vulnerable. I wouldn't count on a direct assault just yet. We've still got his weapon to deal with. Whatever that is. I still find it odd that Lucifer would choose such a gluttonous fool to aid him. He's always playing a shadow game. I'm sure we'll find out why Belial's important. Probably when it's too late. Ah, you return. I think I found my least favorite part of hell. So, the weapon Belial's making. What did you learn? Lucifer managed to create a portal to Eden. The waters there now flow into a great lake in Hell, where Belial is corrupting them, forming vast rivers of burning poison. This is unforgivable. Unfortunately, the portal itself cannot be closed. However, you could destroy the mechanism that creates the poison. We must go there, now! Eden has suffered enough injustice! I might warn you that the area is- NOW! As you wish. This place reeks of corruption. Ah, and here I was, thinking you hadn't washed your cloak again. Belial draws power from his corrupt waters. If he has truly added a supply from Eden, it will greatly upset the balance. Let's just stay dry. I don't want this acid ruining my boots. Ooh, damn. That's a lot of poison. You joke, as we stand before such utter sacrilege. Look, I know this is bad and all, but keep your head straight. We need you just shy of raging, uncontrollable chaos, or you might lose another arm. It took all three of you to restrain me last time. Want to try it alone? Hell no, I don't. Let's save it all for Belial. Lucifer defiles Eden. When we find him, I will drive my sword through his skull. I suppose we better get used to these reminders of Eden. We did what was necessary. I wish you sounded more convinced. The Nephilim are wrong, attacking Eden. I get it. But Annihilation? Come on! The Council messed up. Or they had other reasons to see us wiped out. Careful speaking such things aloud. The Council has eyes and ears everywhere. Doesn't sound like you disagree. We can discuss this further, after we've brought down Belial. Yeah, back on point. For the balance, right? Feel any better? That Belial no longer befouls Eden, yes. That he still lives, no. I'm right there with you, buddy. Are you satisfied, Horseman? Did you ease your conscience, saving Eden from Belial's work? The former kingdom of man is a wasteland now. Why spare any concern for it? Hey, from the former ruler of Hell's biggest shithole? That's pretty funny. Don't worry about our concerns. Can you give us Bilal or not? Yes, of course. The scrying eye. 
Right, it sees all. We got it. This guy really loves his eyeball thing. So impetuous. Do not let overconfidence be your undoing. Belial has been exposed to enough of Eden's power that he won't be easy to kill. Yeah, well, neither are we. This is Belial's sanctuary. Or his pantry. Tread lightly. The corruption has turned the air rancid. If we don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna puke. Hope you enjoyed your last meal. Shall we split open his stomach to reveal its contents? No! I have been bested. I yield! Where is Lucifer? Speak, demon! You better answer quick before you serve your fat ass up some dessert. Wait! Lucifer! Granted me this realm, access to Eden's waters, then... Departed to where I could only guess. Guesses aren't gonna save you. Aiden! I I I can get you into Eden! Perhaps there. How? Lucifer has found a pathway! Hidden! Look! No! Come on! That's nasty! The stone will help you find it! Take it! Just leave me be! We will spare your pathetic life. Though in time you may wish we hadn't. Why do I have to hold the vomit, Jim? Fools. <laughs> Eden will be your doom. <laughs> Belial, you stupid beast. Your incredible failure may yet serve me, but... It must be punished all the same. Endlessly. C curse you, deceiver! Lucifer's plot goes beyond simple meddling. We will not stand for the further corruption of Eden. Belial has given us the key. And what has become of that gluttonous meat sack? Who knows? He was breathing when we left him. Actually, it was more like a gurgling noise. Hmm. Disappointing. I was hoping you'd be more thorough. As for Eden, that can be arranged. Let me guess, you need your back scratched further? You wound me, Strife. You've provided the means. Bulgrim will open the way. A simple courtesy among friends. Ah, huh. right. Belial's crystal. It is a void lock. It clears a path otherwise obscured. Seemingly by Lucifer. Clever, yes. Very clever. You sound excited. And that's creepy. To Eden. Eden. It still burns after all this time. This place, it's a tomb. No one should be here, including us. Tomb, our tomb. Come, rest with us, brothers. Rest. Nephilim, it is impossible. Something has brought them back. Or someone. My money's on Lucifer. Simple creature. Your brothers and sisters live by my will, and die by my will alone! The will of Astarte! Astarte? You were an angel, charged with guarding Eden. Lucifer showed me a new path, a way to finally escape this graveyard. You, however, will be buried here among the dead! Enough! No! I was to be... Vengeance! Vengeance? You turned our fallen brothers into your playthings. 
I'll show you vengeance, you goddamn monster. I wish her dead, as you do, brother. But we must keep our wits. The Council will want answers. <sighs> You've the nerve to call me monster! But what of the blood on your hands? Not another word, Angel. You're nothing more than butchers! Filthy traitors who destroyed your own kind! And for what? The balance! <laughs> I pity you, horsemen! And you, Strife! I know your past! There... was nothing more to learn from her. We'll search elsewhere for signs of Lucifer and his dealings. That was... Uh, more lesson. What she said... Whatever secrets she bore, I'd sooner hear from your own lips. Someday, I'll tell you everything. Someday, so will I. It is as we feared. Eden is tainted by Lucifer's dark influence. He is not yet finished with that dead world. It holds many more secrets he might shape to his purpose. By now, others have entered Eden by Lucifer's pathway to aid him. Then we must sever the pathway. This is no simple task. I would require, for starters, an item of immense angelic power. And what angel would aid us, I ask you? None living. But... Heaven brought its most powerful weapons to bear against the Nephilim in Eden. Perhaps there, among the dead, you might find such a relic. Yes. The Elder Stone. Elder what now? The Elder Stone is divine power in its purest form. Bring it to me, and perhaps we can seal off Lucifer's gateway. Back to Eden, then. Great. Oh, please let this be the last time we set foot here. Agreed. Let us retrieve the Elder Stone so we may be done with this place. Horseman, you dare to return here. Abaddon, still stuck here, I see. It is not by choice that we return. You have been here. Since the war? Since the slaughter, yes. Charged with guarding this realm from further invasion. Protecting its secrets from heathens. Such as yourselves. We are here for Lucifer. By the look of things you've already met. He overwhelmed my forces. Spread corruption within our ranks. Even Astarte, my greatest warrior, has... Turned. We've already dealt with the study. She won't be tormenting the dead any longer. I suppose I should thank you. That monster you faced was not a study. She was more than a soldier to me. I may not have found the strength to strike her down as my enemy. You've done me a service. But evil still spreads through our ranks. Corrupted angels overwhelm our forces. Destroying them would be a mercy and a blow to Lucifer's ambitions here. Do this while I seek out the source of the corruption. We will destroy what corruption we find, so long as it does not delay our mission. A temporary alliance, then. We got a lot of those lately. Thanking you does not come easily. But you came to my aid, defended by angels. I suppose that makes us allies. We always fight to uphold the balance. The demons grow more audacious with each passing day. I wonder how long this tragic balance will last. Ah! That's what I love about you, Abaddon. You always look on the bright side. <laughs> I'm no expert, but I'd say this must be the Elder Stone. It contains enough divine power to shape worlds. It must be wielded with care. Great power? Responsibility? I got this. Let's return now. 
Let Volgrim know to prepare. Horseman, wait! You must lend us your strength. Help me cleanse this place. I think we've done enough cleaning for one day. We could finish this strife. Perhaps our fallen brethren may also find peace. I really don't want to stick around here. Do you? Besides, every second we waste here, Lucifer gets farther away. Listen. Atop this spire, there is an abomination. He spreads corruption amongst my brothers and sisters. I dare not send more of my soldiers against it. Those who have fallen now fight at its side. Please, ascend this spire and destroy it. Consider it done. Being here again? After what we did? What we did was necessary. The Nephilim's very existence was an affront to the balance. The Nephilim? You're talking like it wasn't our people we left in the ground here. We are horsemen. Four of us chosen among countless many. Absalom sealed the Nephilim's fate when he attacked Eden. Their end was inevitable. By our hand or another. But it was by our hand. Sometimes I wonder if it was some kind of test. To see how far the Council could push us. To test our loyalty. Who knows? But for the record, I know you've got my back. And you better know I've got yours. We ride together into oblivion! This belongs here, buried with the rest of the dead. You took that dagger from Maman's hoard. What significance does it bear? <sighs> I used it once. For a job. The worst kind of job. I've managed to forget it. Mostly. You don't know me, War. Even before this, I was a killer. I didn't need a reason. I enjoyed it. I'm sure that's why the Council chose me. The past is done. Leave it. Neither of us are what we were before. I know who I am. And I'll do the Council's dirty work. All I want is to know why I'm pulling the trigger. Then you believe I follow blindly. I believe that if you go on about our sworn duty and upholding the balance, I'm going to shoot you. You are right to question, brother. Did... did we just agree? I think I need to sit down. Let's finish up here. Put this place and its ghosts behind us. Now the Nephilim can finally rest. And maybe Abaddon will finally leave us alone. Let us return to the Void. Yes! The Elder Stone! Give it here. I trust you've wielded it with care? Utmost care! Is this... dried blood? How? Oh! Um... Must have already been on there. In any event, I should be able to seal off Lucifer's pathways to Eden, as was promised. Leave me! I guess we should pop that fat slug before that happens. Not quite. You will want to speak with Samael. He has... troubling news. Ugh... troubling. You've recovered the Elder Stone. Lucifer's entrance to Eden will soon be cut off. But I fear his business there was already concluded. He has promised Eden to another. Another? Dagon. The self-proclaimed Drowned King has claimed Eden by some pact. He has already begun the cleansing. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Dagon's cleansing is a great flood to drown the world. Every living thing will be washed away. A clean slate upon which to build his kingdom. I guess we should pop that fat slug before that happens. Dagon relies on his loyal Stormcaller to bring the Flood. Stop this Shaman and his followers, and you will foil the Drowned King's ambitions. There's a part of me that's okay at the thought of Eden being scrubbed out of existence. Horseman! Dagon's Stormcaller cowers behind this barrier. His Shaman roamed these grounds using foul magic to keep it sealed. Find them! and break the seal. Magic will not save this Stormcaller from his fate. 
Would it really be so bad just to give this place to Dagon? Not like there's anything left here. The Council will not stand for surrendering Eden to demons. Even if it is a ruin. Either way, guess there's no one doing what we did. We put the past behind us, brother. We forge our own futures now. Eden will never be restored. But let it be a reminder. A reminder of what? Our failures? Of how far we've come. Of all that we still will achieve. You claim to ask why. The answer is simple. We must be better. <laughs> you know, for a big tough guy, you can be pretty insightful. The Stormcaller's threat is ended. Have you sealed the portal? As promised, Horseman. Did you doubt my talents? Only about every step of the way. <clears throat> there is still the matter of Dagon himself. By crushing his priests, you dealt him a crippling blow. Strike now, learn what he knows, and finish him. Dagon will pay for his part in this. And Lucifer... I love it when you trail off menacingly. When you are ready, horseman. Trust me, you could use a bath. Oh, oh shit! <sighs> I guess we've been cleansed. <laughs> <laughs> Horseman, you smell even worse than you look. That be the mix of tainted water and demon guts we've been swimming in. You're welcome, by the way. Why strive? I'm doing this for your sake, not mine. We both know that isn't true. At some point, this arrangement will stop being mutually beneficial. Then it's gonna get interesting. <laughs> How pessimistic. For now, however, the benefit remains. So, shall we continue? For the one and only, Moloch now stands in our way. Ah, this definitely benefits you more than us. You never did explain why he came for you, Samael. Do the lesser lords of hell always bicker so? Lesser? Do not taunt me, puppet! I'll cut the strings you dance on. If only to crush you when you hit the ground. <laughs> then kill him yourself. You're mighty enough, aren't you? He is invincible, Nilly. Or he never could have moved me from my seat. And his army grows formidable. Then what of it? We must erode them from within. Beginning with his considerable operation in the Red Waste where his machines dig up materials of incredible potency. Admit it. You just want his army gutted so that once he's dead, nothing of his realm stands to threaten your ambitions. Either way, mutual benefit. <laughs> Go. Destroy everything you can, and while you're there, kill the foreman. The foreman? Any particular reason? He was important to my work once. It appears Moloch was able to sway him. For that, I'd like him dead. It's not really a request, so much as a requirement. Yeah, look, at this point I'll agree to anything if it means ending this conversation. Too long. Must go kill things. Confronting the war machine that fuels an entire demon army. It's gonna be fun, right? Just when we were getting bored. 
The horsemen are not to be trifled with. Let's light them up! Moloch's ambitions have grown. Lucifer has emboldened him, and with the destruction of Samael's keep, he gains a foothold in hell. He'll be less of a go-getter once I put a few bullets in his thick skull. It unnerves me that Lucifer would meddle in the affairs of lesser demons. What does he gain from their squabbling? We'll know sooner or later. There is a bigger plot unfolding, and I fear we've become part of it. Guess that's their job. You say it all the time. We're horsemen. They'll answer for what they've done. Have you actually been listening? Don't flatter yourself. I just want to put an end to Lucifer's plan so we can get on with things. Too late. I know you listened. Yeah. Look at all this fancy stuff. It's kind of fun to watch, to be honest. You certainly could work on your discipline and focus. Sorry, what was that? What price did Moloch pay for his newfound power? Whatever it was, Lucifer always comes out on top. Moloch must know what fate has in store for him, whether by our hands or Lucifer's. Don't worry. It'll be us knocking on his door long before Lucifer came. Perhaps we'll arrive at the same time, so I can wrap my hands around both their necks. Yeah. I love how much you love ringing necks. You Samael's guy? Samael is a pissant compared to Lord Moloch. Ooh, well, I'm gonna tell him you said that. Time to grind you up, runt. Horse meat is Moloch's favorite. I'm gonna kill you just for making easy horse jumps. You should not have stood against us. You are meaningless. Damn, boy. You still got it. You return. I will say that. He called you a pissant, the foreman. Really wasn't impressed at all. Just a heads up. What did you say? Sorry. I just promised the foreman I'd tell you what he said. Right before we ripped his innards out. Anyway, continue. Take care with your quips, little one. When we conclude our business, you can either be within my favor or without. Do not be without. Considering how we left Moloch's precious mining gig, mostly at your request, we sure as hell better be in your favor. Moloch will struggle to recover, this is true, but he is still alive after all. We must finish him. You said he was nigh invincible. Isn't that still a problem? Lucifer's gift to Moloch. I could sense it when we battled. Something gave him strength unending. Impossible recovery. It could only be a blood mantle. Those were thought lost to the ages. How could anyone, even Lucifer, create one? And then, why give it to Moloch? To enter the mind of Lucifer is to enter madness. Regardless, Moloch possesses one. And destroying it is the final move we must make before striking. His armory is the only sane place to keep such an important artifact. With his reinforcements in disarray. Again, you're welcome. He can't defend it, so you must act quickly. Okay, and then can we finally kill that smug son of a bitch? <laughs> of course. That sounds so pleasing. I might attend the battle myself. Oh, what a treat. Why just attend? Don't you want to get a few hits in yourself? My reasons for staying out of the conflict are my own. And conveniently, dealing with the threat of Lucifer was your mission, given by the Council, was it not? It was. And so, you have very little choice. What we do, we do for the balance, not for you. However you might twist it in your mind. Like Lucifer's. Mine is a mind you don't want to enter, horseman. <laughs> Skulking below ground like sewer rats. I prefer a frontal assault. I bet you do. Don't worry. 
Something tells me there will be plenty of demons to kill. You think after Moloch we'll finally find Lucifer? Be done with this? Regardless of the outcome, Moloch must be put in his place. No demon should accumulate such power. You know, we've had our ups and downs, kicked a lot of ass. Dealt with artifacts of power, necromancy, evil demons. But this... It's been fun. I suppose... it has. Did you just smile? I saw it, War. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone. I was simply thinking of splitting Moloch's head in two. Don't get the wrong idea. Sure. Whatever you say. This is the Blood Mantle? You'd think it'd be more heavily guarded. Disappointed, brother. I'll get over it. Let's ruin Moloch's day. Uh-oh. It seems there will be violence after all. This makes a lot more sense. No more Blood Mantle. Guess it's lost to the ages again. Hopefully this time for good. Moloch is no longer protected by Lucifer's blood mantle. He is ours. Excellent, horseman. With his war camp in ruins and his troubling magic eliminated, you have a fair chance of besting him. It won't come down to chance. Moloch's finished, just like the rest. I will join you. He will be heavily guarded. And besides, I wish to see the look on his twisted face when he breathes his last. Since our first encounter with Moloch, I have longed for this moment. We ready then? I'll see you there. Hold fast, brother! You... You ever get tired of endlessly slaughtering hordes and hordes of demons? No. Yeah, me neither. What is that? Say what you want about Samaya, but damn, does he know how to make an entrance? Gentlemen, after you. Horseman, Samael, you saved me the trouble of hunting you down. If you weren't such thorns in my side, I'd almost be impressed. Moloch, with your blood mantle destroyed, you can no longer hide behind Lucifer's dark magic. Now you'll tell us the truth of his plan, and then you bleed. Brave words. I'll enjoy making you choke on them while my army watches. Then all will know of Moloch's superiority. This is your fight, horseman. I'll simply enjoy the view. I've been waiting for this moment. There will be no mercy. Come, horseman. I will enjoy cutting you down. Victory! Go on, horseman. Cut off his miserable head. You've played right into his hands, horseman. I tire of demons and their threats. There are no more threats to make. Lucifer's plan is complete. Uh, complete? How? You should be wary of the company you keep. Isn't that right, Samael? Have you told them? <sighs> That demon would not shut up. Yeah, who knows what he might have said next. I think you do, Samael. What is the Animus? What are you hiding? I suppose I owe you the truth, but not here. Quickly, through the portal. Samael, you've been lying to us this whole time. Nonsense. I simply... Omitted some inconvenient truths. But I will tell you now everything I know. A small penance to repay your service to me. This better be a short story. After the Nephilim were destroyed, Lilith came to me. Lilith? Of course she'd have some hand in this. She was mad with grief. 
seeking my aid in orchestrating vengeance upon the Council against you, Horsemen, for your part. Most of all, against the humans which fled Eden, who Lilith believed to be unfairly favored above all others. And you caved. I turned her away. I respect the balance after all, and I'd rather not have the Council meddling in my affairs. A lesson which, to my great enjoyment, my rivals have learned with amusing finality. All save one. Lucifer. Yes. Lilith bound him, eagerly waiting, with hateful schemes to rival her own. Together they created the Animus to corrupt mankind. The Animus is a dark, seductive influence filled with malice and greed. To fuel the Animus, Lucifer struck a deal with the Masters, granting each of them power at a heavy price. The fools agreed, believing they would be invincible. He made the same offer to me. <laughs> Can you imagine the nerve? What was the price, Samael? Their souls to be claimed upon death. <sighs> This whole time we've been helping Lucifer. And you knew? Samael, what have you done? My hands are clean, horsemen. You acted on the Council's orders, not mine. I simply set you on your course. Can you blame me for wanting to see my rivals dead along the way? You will answer for this. Another time, perhaps. I promised you Lucifer. And I will send you to him, if you wish. But there is something you must know. Moloch spoke true, for perhaps the first time in his miserable life. Lucifer's work is done. He has found humanity's new homeworld, Earth. Using the Animus, he has corrupted them. You will find them changed. Send us to Earth. Farewell, horsemen. It has been a pleasure. What now? Humanity's fate is for the Council to decide. Not us. We helped Lucifer create this. Impressive, aren't they? Speak of the devil. The life these creatures knew before was meaningless. Whispering stories into the fire, searching the stars for answers to their pathetic existence. I am the answer. See how quickly they adapt? Now that their eyes are open, they feel everything their creator denied them. Fear, hatred, lust. Perhaps now, they will create a third kingdom to be reckoned with. How far has it spread? By now, who can say? Will you kill us all, to be sure? as far from the village as you can. War, strife. You have proven your worth as soldiers of the Council. May your will and service continue unwavering for eternity. Thanks to your efforts, mankind endures, though changed forever by Lucifer's plot. Culling the aggressive humans you encountered was no doubt a grim task, but necessary. One that may help shape the Third Kingdom. Time will tell. What humans remain must be watched closely, protected. Listen thus, with the forging of these seven seals, 
a great treaty shall be wrought in the name of the balance. They who break it shall suffer the horsemen's wrath. Let our will be manifest within the seals. Three from the children of heaven. Three from the dwellers below. And a final seal from our own wisdom. The council has spoken.